This week we're heading to Outer Banks. Right now Dylan's checking in and I'm going to be turning our Level Mate Pro on and see if there's any damage. It's always a fun mystery to what kind of screws you find or if anything falls apart as you uh, travel on the road. And it looks like we're in the clear. Nice and big. Really? You feel that ocean breeze. You can smell it too. <laughs> it feels amazing. As soon as I walk into the bathroom, I can smell like, you know, the sand, like beach bathroom. So this is our site for nine days. It, the wind picked up a little bit, but look at this pretty view that we get right along the water. Look at that. So pretty here. During our week in the Outer Banks, my grandma came down to visit us, which was awesome because we were glad to see her after such a long time apart, but also she knows everything about the Outer Banks area. She's been coming down to visit for over 30 years. We also got to witness many amazing sunsets. It's just breathtaking here. Our goal this week was to hit up all five lighthouses, starting with number one, Currituck Beach Lighthouse built in 1873. Number two, Body Island Lighthouse. It stands 156 feet tall with 214 steps. Number three, Ocracoke Island Lighthouse is the second oldest working lighthouse in the nation. Number four, Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, which is the tallest in America at 210 feet tall. Number five, Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse at 37 feet tall. Next, we decided to take the ferry from Hatteras to Ocracoke something all three of us have never done before. It takes about 60 minutes to get there and it's first come first serve, no reservations. And we took our car right on and can you believe it was free? Before going back to the ferry, we decided to stop at the beach and go shell hunting. Did you know Ocracoke Island is considered one of the best shelling beaches in the United States? If you were to look at the outside of this aquarium, you would think that it's like the smallest thing in the world. But once you get inside, there's a lot of really cool exhibits. your fresh grape juice. I can taste the vine. It's actually the probably best grape juice I ever had. You say that about everything. You try it, I guarantee you're gonna say the same thing. It's actually good. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda just tastes like grape jelly. It's pretty banging is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. After we left the Outer Banks, we took the Chesapeake Bay Bridge back north. This bridge is 17.6 miles long, and thank goodness it wasn't too windy because when it gets very windy, trucks and RVs are not allowed to cross the bridge. We're heading back home for the holidays, and we have exciting new plans ahead of us for next year. 